so I finally got my hands on the very long-awaited Shanexo and BH Cosmetics eyeshadow and lip palette. Super excited to show you guys the makeup look that I've created using this palette. So this is her lipstick side and then on the other side is her eyeshadows. To start the makeup look, I'm going to be priming my skin with Professional by Benefit. But I'm just going to lay this down and I'm not going to apply foundation as of yet. I want to start with my eyes just to save any fallout. So to prep my eyelids, I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's new Double Wear Waterproof Concealer. And I'm going to be applying that onto the tops of the lids with a wet beauty blender. The reflection of the sun when I was doing this was so bad. I couldn't get a very good visual of the palette, so I'm sorry. <laughs> But using the BH Cosmetics Shanex Eye Palette, I'm going to be using this matte ivory eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do is apply it on top of my lids to set my concealer into place. Now using this warm terracotta brown, I'm going to be using this as a heavy diffusing colour. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to be severely cutting out my crease. This is a really strong cut crease eye makeup look. So I'm going to be running it along my eye socket and just consistently blending back and forth with this colour and taking it quite high up to the eyebrow, uh, but just making sure it's very heavy around the crease and then consistently blending and softening it out towards the brow. By the way, this was the first time I'd ever used the palette and I was so impressed by how pigmented the eyeshadows were. Considering the price point, I thought they were really well done. And now to blur and bleed the edges, I'm just going to be using a clean fluffy brush. Now using the previous brush that I was using to cut out my crease, I'm just going to use any residue left on the brush to focus around the crease just to intensify it that little bit more. Now using the darkest shade from the palette, I'm going to be taking a very fine tip precision brush and what I'm going to do is take it into the crease and really try to intensify it further now. And as you can see, I'm being very delicate and very gentle with the application and I'm just going to slowly intensify the shadow. Of course, with more eyeshadow comes more blending. So I'm going to be using a fluffy brush just to make sure that that line doesn't look too solid and nicely blended into the crease. Using this beautiful glittery white dusty eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying it with a flat pan brush to the lid and what I'm going to do is, yeah, just apply it all over the lid. <laughs> and I'm going to take it as high as the crease that we created earlier on and then that's just going to create that really nice crisp finish to my cut crease. Holy shit, I didn't realize how pigmented that eyeshadow is until I like look at it right now. Now using the Pretty Easy Liquid Liner like I always freaking do because it is bomb you guys like bomb like I don't use this shit all the time because it's okay because I use it because it's like amazing <laughs> so I'm going to create a semi dramatic liquid eyeliner. On my top lashes I'm going to be using the Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara and for my false lashes today I used Rock Model Lashes and these are Russian Doll. As always, I went for a full coverage today, so I've used Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Long Wear Foundation. I use the color Ivory, which is one of their lightest ones, but I'm really, really pasty at the moment. I haven't got any fake tan, and I've lost all my coloring from summer. So this is the first time using it, and I really loved it. Like, look how good it looks on my skin, and it actually lasted really well throughout the day. So I'm just going to be applying it with a flat kabuki brush by Simply Essential Brushes, and then just to kind of like even everything out, I used a wet, ble uh, wet beauty blender on top. <laughs> to conceal underneath, I just went back with my Double Wear Waterproof Concealer. What I generally do is take the tip of my beauty blender and run it along the edging of my eyeshadow just to give it a little bit more of a cleaner, sharper finish. To set the foundation and concealer into place, I'm just going to keep it within the Maybelline family and use their Superstay powder. This is the ivory shade. To warm up my complexion, which I always do because I'm hella pasty, I'm going to use Stefan Professional Makeup's bronzer and again just another fluffy brush to apply it. I'm not going to be overly specific about where I apply it, I just want it to be in the main areas where it looks like I've had a sun kiss finish. Now 
Now to really define and sharpen my features, I'm going to be using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. They have very kindly personalized this bronzer after me, which is very sweet. So I'm going to be using their contouring brush that they provide within the bronzer, and I'm just going to start edging out the hollows of my cheeks. For my blush, I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's new Envy Blush Powder. This is just a really nice, subtle, pinky peach tone. Anastasia Beverly Hills is the highlighter that I've gone with today. This is the color Starlight. Honestly, literally just like have no words for it. Like, like just look at it guys. Like, does it really need words? Like, whoa. Just keeping it in the family, so I'm going to be using her pomade dip brow in the colour medium brown on my brows. Now just to add a soft smokiness underneath my eyes and just create, I don't know, like bigness to my eyes. Is that even a word? Bigness? Oh my god. I'm going to use that warm terracotta shadow from the palette and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to blend it out. This beautiful, like such a beautiful dusty rose colour. I'm just going to use a flat panned eyeshadow brush again just to intensify the corners on my tear ducts. For my bottom lashes, I've used Elizabeth Arden's Green Entrance Mascara. This is new on the market. Really like the wand because it just defined and lengthened my lashes really nicely without making them clumpy. Okay, so like, no word of a lie, I feel like this lipstick color was totally made for me. <laughs> it's like the ultimate soft pink nude color. It's like the ultimate color I always look for when I look for a lipstick. Kudos to you, Shannon. Friggin' love it. So I'm going to be applying it with a lipstick brush, and that is pretty much the look for you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed what I've put together. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. All the information that you need will be down below. And until next time, guys, have a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Doing it all night, all summer Doing it the way I wanna